So today was a pretty busy day. So I'm here at the gym now. It is almost six o'clock. About to hit shoulders. However, it's Saturday. The gym closes at three o'clock. So the owner was nice enough to let me in and get my workout in. Couldn't work out earlier because I've um, been helping my girlfriend Alex move out of her house. So been pretty busy with that. I did show up this morning for my fasted cardio for 30 minutes. Um, still been doing that uh, three to four times a week. Going very well. It is six weeks out of the show today. So we're gonna hop into this. Um, I'm gonna take you guys through the workout today. So we're not gonna be doing, I'm not gonna do like a voiceover or anything. Um, I'm gonna talk about the workout, talk about the cues afterwards. Just kind of simple stuff, not gonna take too much. Um, not gonna be a long video. So yeah, let's go. First exercise, military shoulder press on the Smith. <laughs> The little mental cues that I got that I want you guys to take away from a simple, simple exercise like that is know your hand placement. So um, when you guys are putting the bench up against like a Smith machine is different from like an actual apparatus shoulder military press. So when you're kind of sliding the bench in there, you kind of want to do no weight first and just make sure that you're in the center of the bar that you know where your hand placement's gonna be, and you know when you bring the bar down that it's gonna be at a good spot for you to feel the exercise. So adjusting the bench, I think is the number one cue for the shoulder military press on the Smith machine. And that goes along a lot with like, if you're setting up a bench press or incline bench press on the Smith machine, you just wanna know that, or you wanna know where it's gonna be comfortable before you start adding weight and start doing the exercise. So we're doing four sets of 15, 10 to 15 reps on this. Next exercise, lateral raises. I got 30 pound dumbbells here. We're gonna do four sets, again, 10 to 15. guys so for lateral raises the only thing that I want you guys I tell everybody I'll tell I tell my clients and everything that you want to have your elbows above the weight so when I'm doing the lateral raise I'm not having the weight above my elbow having my elbow I'm driving with my elbow um, so if you do it like that there's gonna be a lot less strain on your wrists on your elbows and you're just coming up with the shoulder so coming up, it should look just like this. So I'm not coming up like this, straight out, I'm not doing it like that. 45 degree angle, elbow above the weight. All right, next exercise, we're doing dumbbell front raises. I'm sitting down for these. Um, I'm not gonna have my back supported, but you can have your back supported, don't get me wrong. Um, what we're gonna do, I've got 15 pound dumbbells here. We're just gonna come up and turn my wrist at the top. In my mind, in my head, this is what we are came from. The dreams we have, the love we share, this is what we're waiting for. In my mind, in my head, this is what we are came from. The dreams we have, the love we share, this All right, so mental cues for this one. Um, when I come up, I go just above my eyes when I do it. So when I'm, when I'm sitting regularly, I come up just above my eyes. Now, now what that's gonna do, it's gonna keep tension 
on your shoulder. So I'm not coming all the way up. When you come all the way up, it's almost a rest position. I mean, I, I know that you're, um, you're still pushing the weight up. You're still holding the weight up, but it doesn't have too much tension on your front delt. And that's exactly what this exercise does. So when you come up, you wanna come up just above your eyes or just like above your head almost, that's gonna keep tension on the front part of your delts. Now, when you turn it like this, you could either turn it like I do, or you can come straight up. If you come straight up, that's even more tension just on the front delt. When I turn it a little bit, I'm incorporating some of my side delt in it, which is fine. But front delt exercise, you can do it just like, just like that. That's one of the top cues for that one. All right, this next exercise is for our rear delt. So we did kind of like a, um, a compound movement in the beginning, and then we did our side delts, then we did our front delts, now we're gonna do our rear delts. Now, this one is super lightweight exercise, just trying to focus on contracting our rear delts. So it's not as easy as it sounds. Um, I have 15 pound dumbbells. 10 pounds also is very good and effective for this exercise. So I'm gonna do my best to kind of show you the exact movement while my camera's just sitting there. Um, so I'm gonna stand here and I'm gonna come all the way down and I'll explain it after, but let me just kind of try to show you guys the best I can. For that movement it's really like a mind muscle connection type of thing when it comes to hitting your rear delts um, just because it's not a big muscle so it's hard to kind of feel it it's almost like you have to look in the mirror to make sure that you're um, actually like contracting the muscle almost so what I like to do um, a lot of people sit on a bench and bend over do the rear delts like that which is great um, it's, a, it's a great way to do it Hang on. Um, yeah, so you guys can sit down and do it. I'm sorry, I'm a little blurry until this focuses. There we go. So yeah, you guys can sit down and do this. Um, you can do them on the, um, the cables. We have an apparatus up front where it hits the rear delts. I like doing them like that because I kind of like going. I feel it more when I come out like a, like a Y. So I'm bent over and I'm making a Y with my, with my entire body. So I feel it the best like that. So. That's gonna be an entire shoulder workout. Um, like I said in the beginning, we did, I'm gonna sit down. No, I'm not gonna sit down. All right, so that's kind of like a full shoulder workout right there. So we did four different, uh, yeah, it was four different movements in this, ex this workout. Um, four sets, 10 to 15, kind of keeping high volume, but still a, a moderate, heavier weight. Um, except for like when we do those certain exercises, like I pointed out, like the rear delt flies. So the first thing that we did was the, um, the military press here on the uh, Smith machine. That was our compound movement of the day, um, kind of hitting our entire shoulders. And then we went into lateral raises, which are gonna hit our side delts. Then we did our front raises, which are gonna hit our front delts. And then our, our rear delts, we did um, the rear delt flies for. So that's a full shoulder workout, guys, again. Thank you to Fit, Fit Happens up there. My home gym, my home gym of Fit Happens. Um, this is where I've grown up and trained and everything else. So my first gym membership was here and then it was just all everything in this gym. So thank you to them for letting me in, filming this workout, getting this whole day, this crazy day, just peaceful in here right now <laughs> nobody's here it's just nice so yeah not a long video for you guys today um, not a vlog style however we will get back on that next week <sighs> been a busy week been a good week just got to keep grinding so six weeks out today um, two more weeks I do the high carb low carb every other day and then I go into um, refeeds on Saturday with a con like a regular low carb day, um, Sunday through Friday, and then refeeds on 
Saturday night. So I can't wait for that. And yeah, so I'm gonna end this here. We will see you next time.